Good morning, everybody. Well, at least here in the United States on the East Coast. Um, I'm your boy, Retro Bliss, and this is Retro Bliss Gaming. And uh, I have a question. Have you played your Atari today? And we're about ready to do that. And we're going to go old school. And when I say old school, we are going old school. And I have not done this on a live stream since we've done the channel that I can recall. Um, I think I've done a review on it, but I've not done a live stream of it, of uh, Asteroids. And uh, Asteroids is one of those games that I had, you know, um, when the console first came out, I got it when it, the year it came out. And uh, the original releases for the 2600 were, uh, were okay. They were not that great. But uh, it wasn't long that uh, the 2600 started releasing some... Uh, some arcade titles for the console and obviously um, uh, the port wasn't a true port of the um, the game but it was close enough uh, to the uh, experience that, that we had fun with it and, and uh, we definitely had fun with it and it's definitely a playable game and we had a bunch of fun with it so uh, we're gonna have fun with this game today and um, with this particular game, um, in order to, to have the UFOs come out, you have to have the difficulty in the uh, position in, in A. So um, if you want to have the UFOs come at you, you have to put the difficulty switch into the A position. And um, so, um, and um, for some reason, I don't know why I, I put it in the, and I, I don't have the, hold on a second. Let me put the, I have the, the uh see there's variations here um give me a minute i should have looked at this quick quickly um you know what i may i may switch this up just a hair um I'm gonna put it on uh, number two. There's so many different variations of this game. It's kind of crazy how many they have. You don't need that many, but um, You know what? I prefer the shield, though. Hold on a minute. Let me let me try to find the shields. Let's go eleven. Twelve. Let's go twelve. Okay, let's let's do that. So, anyway. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, uh, uh, you know you want to hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications because we do this a lot. Uh, we don't just do Atari stuff though. We do uh, we do other things. We do uh, a lot of other retro gaming consoles. We do uh, Master System. We do Xbox. We do PlayStation. Um, uh, things like that. We do NES. Um, so Chris Albright. Uh, this is the original this is the original um um atari chris hey chris how you doing brother um which by the way i wanted to let you know chris albright my buddy uh he's he's one of my uh old time uh, uh subscribers to the channel uh he he uh he and i uh We've had the same problem for here in the last few months. We've 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 been waiting on some games from the Atari Aid store, and uh, uh, I I heard from Albert last week. He sent me a picture where where he's supposedly getting. He he told me that he he was getting some games. He was going to have have start shipping them out, uh, either by the end of last week or starting early this week. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But uh, Cannabis Kid's back in the house. Um, uh, uh, 
I don't know what he's saying. Something about Denny's remix of a version of Asteroids called Asteroids. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> anyway, let's uh let's play let's play some asteroids here. Let's get to it. So uh, I prefer the shields. I don't like the hyperspace. Never did. Oh, I had the shield on too, man. Ah, dog. Wait a minute, there's no game sound. You guys can't hear anything. I'm playing the game. You guys can't even see anything. Start the game over, man. Hold on a minute. Let me hit the pause button on the game. I'm over here having fun. Like a retard. It's Monday. Not good. Not good. All right, here we go. Now we're now we're cooking with oil. Over here having a good old time. looked out of the corner of my bad eye I'm like you can't hear me and now I'm like wait a minute you can't even see me either you can't see the game I mean at home this is awesome man being able to play this oh you dirty dog cheater Oh, 
hold the shield too long. I think you have to let go for a second before it will reset. Doing good. Whoa. They put the shield up just in time on that one. Him get me, dirty dog. Doggone it. I started this stream off really bad, man. I think I played... I played for probably three or four minutes. You guys were just kind of seeing my face looking going... Bleh. All right. See, I like... I like that. I like having the UFOs and I like the shields. That's the way to go for me. I prefer, I definitely prefer the shields. All right, let's go. Wacky worlds. Oh, uh, he, uh, spheres of chaos. Never heard of it. I have to look into that. It was so close I couldn't let go either.
thought he had me. Kick in my butt. All right, Wacky, I'm gonna write that down, brother. Hold on a minute. Hey, Fixoid's in the house. My buddy, uh, I, I've been communicating with him today. I got me some good, more games today from him. We're gonna stream some games from him, um, Benji. Anyway, um, let me write this down. Um, they're called, uh, oh, it's a PC game. Is it a game that I have to buy or can I just download it? Hmm. Hold on a second. Give me just a minute here. I'm trying to. I'm. I've lost what. I, what the name of the game was. <laughs> you guys are streaming so fast. I can't. Oh, spheres of chaos. Okay, spheres of chaos. PC game. I'll look into it. Sorry about that. A little bit of a hiccup. Let's get back to asteroids. That's what we're here for. Oh, it's free. Okay, I'll look into it. All right, let's get back to it. Asteroids. Hmm. Now, if I just play Asteroids with on difficulty B, I could play forever. But this this is definitely more challenging uh, with difficulty A. Hmm. For sure. It's more more along the lines of the arcade.
Pull back in time. Dog on it. Oh no! doing good. Um, Vader Gamer 77, are you referring to the uh, image for the dual Atari fight stick with trackball? Because if you are, 
uh, with the Raspberry Pi. Because if you are, the image that I use uh, came from... Um, Keo Daikin. And I got you you have to what you do is what you want to do is you want to look him up on Facebook. <clears throat> if you if as a matter of fact, if you look at the uh video that I have, okay, what you want to do <clears throat> is you want to look uh look him up on Facebook, Keo Daikin. Uh let me see if I can if you give me a minute, I'll I'll try to find a find a link to him. Give me a minute, guys. I'm gonna help my my buddy out here. Uh. All right, so do me but do me a favor, buddy. Subscribe to the channel. I'm helping you out. All right, I need a sub here. But um, what you want to do is um, go to this Facebook. I can't, I can't, I can't give you the image. It's not, I can't. It's not my image to give you. But what? Here's what you do. It's free. It's a free image. Okay. What it is, it's a free image. You go look up this guy on um, Facebook and um, ask to be part of his group. And then request um, where, you know, for him to show him where the, this image is and he will give you the image. And then you will have to add your own ROMs to it. That's what I had to do. The image will 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 make your um, make your uh, stick work perfect. And then um, you just add your ROMs to it. I don't know if you have any problems adding ROMs to it. Uh, what I do is I I just network them through. Um, I don't know if you have any issues with that or not. If you do have any issues with that then um, hook up with me on Retro Bliss Gaming Facebook group, and uh, I'll help you out with that. But, um, yeah, hook up with Keo Daikin at that and, and try to get the actual image. And then if you have any issues with the adding with ROMs, I'll, I'll help you out with that. But uh, sub to the channel, and uh, we, we would definitely appreciate you being a subscriber to the channel. So, okay, let's play some more Asteroids. Let's go. I play that image all the time, man. It's a great image. It's an awesome image. Um, Keo Daikin's amazing. Um, he's actually working with... Um, he does include some ROMs in there, um, specifically for the trackball. Um, like the um, centipede, millipede. Ah, oh, dog. Um, a lot of ROMs that specifically uh, use the trackball. So you don't have to necessarily configure the trackball, which is kind of nice. But, um, if you're familiar how to uh, set up your network on your Raspberry Pi, once you get the image up and you uh, set up the network on the Raspberry Pi itself, you just uh, transfer your games over to the to the Raspberry Pi and to the proper folders, and then you're good to go, man. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, <laughs> brother, I'm 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 with you. I'm 56. Um, dang it. I'm an old fart too, brother. So I I got you. I know I know. Um, if it helps. Um, I know that actually Facebook it might not be a, a good option. Um, you can also contact me by email, uh, retroblissgaming at gmail.com. It might be easier to contact me that way too. Um, I'll help you out. Yeah, I, ha I struggle with that too. Um, because when I got when I bought my arcade stick through um, Micro Center, I couldn't get the trackball working for anything, man. I was really disappointed. I was very highly disappointed. And then um, when I found Kia Daikin, um, I was so pleased, and he he made that image. But unfortunately, it's not my image to to give out. He's he's very you know it's it's um but it's it's free. He'll he'll give it to you for free. But unfortunately, he's he's the one that's got to be able to do it. So, uh, but he's very 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 kind and and, and um, knowledgeable and um, willing to do that for you. Um, But if you have any problems with how to take care of all that, um, I know how to do all that stuff. I, I will try to help you out. I know how it is with technology and sometimes with us old farts. I know what I know what it's like. I got uh, I'm, I'm, You're not as old, nearly as, as old as my father, but I've, I've got I've got a father who uh, he tries to pick up the. He tries to pick up the Roku remote and make a phone call, you know? <laughs> so, you know, I know you're not that that bad, but. <laughs> hey, Dr. Petrovich. Uh, I don't have a, uh, I don't have a definite time of my live stream, unfortunately. Um, I've been trying to do it around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but. I don't I definitely don't have a set time. I definitely don't have a set time, unfortunately. Um and as I was I was telling people at the, early on in the stream, my wife has having surgery tomorrow and uh, she's going to be on uh, uh limitations. So tomorrow I'm probably not going to be streaming at all. Uh I don't think I'm going to try to squeeze one in if I can get her to take a nap or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, she's probably going to be on pain meds and if she is, she might be taking a nap or something, but, um, um but off and on during the week, she's going to be needing, uh, some tender love and care, which I'm going to have to provide to her. Uh, so, uh, my stream is going to happen this week. It's just going to be kind of scattered here and there, but I don't have, I don't have a, I've never had really a set time, but I've been trying to keep, keep it as consistent as possible around the 11 ish time so i started around a half hour ago which was around 11 30 11 40 i think i started at 11 37 actually on specific is when i scheduled the live stream today so um yeah i don't have a set time unfortunately um i think it probably would be good if i did because that way people could kind of set their clock as to when <laughs> So, um, let's get back to asteroids. I'm doing a little bit better. Um, for those of you who may not be familiar with some of the settings on, on the original asteroids, if you have your difficulty setting to a, the UFOs come out and, um, uh, I have it on option 12, which, uh, has the, um, 
asteroids at a, f a faster rate and the um you have shields and that's what i prefer and so if you just have your your uh just option one there's no ufos the asteroids are a slow pace i could play on and on and on and on but there's really no challenge to it so this is this is the option that i've always preferred so uh let's let's go let's keep on going and like i said this isn't the arcade experience but man back in the day we were so happy i played this so much I knew it was coming, but I couldn't get it, my uh, controller to... I had pulled back, didn't engage. see that <sighs> yeah vader my um my parents bought my uh i we got ours um in 1977 the year came out my dad was a blue collar worker he's a pattern maker for cincinnati millicron I'm I'm in the Cincinnati area. I grew up here, been here all my life. And um uh, they had a Sears credit card. <laughs> and as you pro you're probably well aware, 
they retailed for $199 back then, uh, which was around $920 in today's money. And that's a lot of money, especially for a blue collar worker. And, um, they, they put it on, they put it on their, they put a, um, telegame six switcher on their Sears credit card and bought us our, our, our uh, first, um, Atari console with air sea battle is what it came with. And, um, that was the game. The only game they ever bought us, it came with, and that's the only one we ever had. And my dad, he never, he would not let us play on his big, on the regular TV. I'm saying big TV. It wasn't, we never, our TVs were never really huge. I mean, I think the biggest TV we ever had was like maybe a, um, 29, 30 incher, um, something like that. Not, not really a lot, uh, not real big, but, uh, dad swore that it would ruin the TV. He would not let us do it. So we had a little 13 inch black and white. <laughs> My brother and I, we would, uh, we had a little nook upstairs. We had a whole, we had a second floor all to ourselves. And we had a couple bedrooms up there and we had a little nook up there and we had a little setup up there with the, with the Atari and the, um, TV up top and the, the Atari underneath and of course, you know, you had to be right with the, with the console so you could hit the reset button when you needed to and whatnot. And, uh, we would sit on the floor with, you know, legs cross crossed Indian style and, and play and play and play and play and hours on in, you know, that kind of thing. And, um, that's how we did it back then, you know, and, uh, the games that we got, we had to, we had to save our allowance and I can remember, <laughs> man, way back in the day, I, I was, <clears throat> man, I was, a I, I don't want, I won't say I was a con artist, but, um, <clears throat> we had, we, I, I, uh, I lived, I was, I lived in a, um, kind of a, um, a, a, a rough neighborhood and I went to a rough school and, uh, I got a dollar a day for lunch. And, um, so we had a homeroom class and, um, at the beginning of every quarter, um, the kids that didn't have, you know, the parents, they, they were not, um, you know, the kids that, that were, were, were poor and, and didn't really have a whole lot. They were given milk tickets and lunch tickets every quarter for their lunches and their milk and, and whatnot. And so there were kids and they honestly, they didn't, they would not, they would not eat lunch. They just would not eat lunch. And so what they would do is that they would sell their, their lunch tickets and their milk tickets at the beginning of every, every, uh, uh, quarter. And so for like, you know, five, 10 bucks or whatever. And so what I would do is I would buy, I would buy them. And then eat my lunch that way. And then I would save my money that my parents would give me a dollar every day for, for, um, for, for lunch. And then I would use that money. Uh, and then plus my allowance and plus, you know, mowing yards and, and doing chores and extra things like that, uh, to buy my video games. And so that's how I got my video games. And so, um, that's, uh, that's how I, I ended up getting my games. Cause my parents, I never, other than the game that I got with, with the console, I never, they never bought me a video game that I can recall. We got, we got, I had to buy our own video games and that's the way we did it. So asteroids was definitely one of the games I can recall buying. So, yeah. So let's can continue on. We've been doing this a little while. Let's play on. Let's see if I can do any better this time. I'm that wasn't bad, but not great. In black and white, you know, when when that's all you have, you get used to it. But now that I'm I've been playing in color, I don't know that I could ever go back.
dashboards, I can't hit him. I thought it got him. one just Oh man, I used to play I used to play Space Invaders all the time. Yeah, man, Space Invaders went Asteroids and Space Invaders. They were the two games, man. I played all the time. I used to play Space Invaders till I rolled it over. Yeah, definitely, 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 definitely. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Um, hey, Vader, when you do get a hold of Keo Dyke and let him know that Retro Bliss Gaming referred you. Um, because I did a review on, on a, um, I mentioned him in my review of, of that, um, 
of my uh arcade stick so yeah he knows he knows me so yeah man <laughs> space invaders was awesome yeah we'll have to do we'll have to play that again sometime well, let's let's play let's play at least one more asteroids and then we'll, we might call it a day at least for this for this episode i'm gonna try to stream at least one more time a little bit later i've got a few things got to take care of like i said the the honey's got uh unfortunately she's got some surgery that that's it's uh got to be taken care of but uh, she's gonna be all right she's gonna be okay but uh unfortunately uh things happen and you got to get things taken care of but um uh let's let's get going and, and play some more i tell you what i i had kind of forgotten how fun this version of asteroids was um you know um is it the arcade version no but man it's very playable it's very good Stra come on, strawberry shortcake come on man <laughs> oh man i don't even i i don't even know if i've if I remember correctly, Strawberry Shortcake, isn't that a game where you got to, like, change their clothes or something? I don't know if I've even played that game. God bless you, too, man. God bless you, too, man. I tell you what. Be blessed. Um. Anyway, let's play. Let's play some more Asteroids. what when i think i pull back i'm not, apparently not pulling back sometimes whoa sandwiched in there oh, i'm not going out like that i almost feel like doing a rage reset right now Oh, <laughs> 
dirty dog. You dirty dog. Cheater. Oh, I shot him, but right before I got him, he got one off on me. Cheryl's in the house. I haven't seen you in a few days. It does look like a bunch of Australias. <laughs> that is funny. It looks like a, I'm shooting a bunch of Australia continents. <laughs> in space. I'm in space shooting a bunch of Australia continents. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, I've been, I've been streaming for about an hour now. Um, I'm going to get off of here, but, uh, I'm going to try streaming a little bit later. Um, I think I'm going to do a master system homebrew. Not sure which one I'm going to do. Um, but, but stay tuned, but we're going to have some fun with that. Um, so I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for hanging out. Um, Vader, don't forget to get a hold of Keo Daikin. He's going to hook you up and uh, we are going to have some fun uh with with some um retro gaming so you guys hang out with retro bliss thanks for hanging out with me and we'll see you on the next one have an awesome day and take care